Nadia is now an ordained Lutheran minister. Shortly after she was ordained, she and her friends started a church called the House of All Sinners and Saints. And when it comes to the Bible and the Beatitudes, Nadia has her own unique take. She believes the Beatitudes, that list of Jesus' statements, was Jesus' way of lavish, lavishly throwing around blessings, words of hope and healing, as if they grew on trees. And the people that Jesus was so extravagantly and generously blessing are the people who are rarely blessed. That sea of mountain climbing people that society has neither time nor use for. I don't know about you, but that does sound a lot like Jesus to me. Now that he goes on to wonder if that act of speaking is actually what conveys the healing energy. If it is the verbalizing, the speaking, if that is the source of energy which moves the people from death to life again. This for me adds another layer of mystery to what is meant by the living word. Here is Nadia's version of the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the agnostics. Blessed are they who doubt. Blessed are those who are not sure and who can still be surprised. Blessed are those who have nothing to offer. Blessed are they for whom nothing seems to be working out. You are of heaven. And heaven blesses you. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are they for whom death is not an abstraction. Blessed are they who have buried their loved ones, for whom tears are as real as an ocean. Blessed are they who have loved enough to know what loss feels like. Blessed are the mothers of the miscarriage. Blessed are those who don't have the luxury of taking things for granted. Blessed are they who can't fall apart. They have to keep it together for everyone else. Blessed are the motherless, the alone, the ones from whom so much has been taken. Blessed are those who still aren't over it yet. You are of heaven. Jesus blesses you.